<sighs> What's beyond good and bad? What is beyond life and death? My personal point of view uh, is that this is all that there is. And that's not a disparaging statement. It's not a letdown or anything like that. It's not to exclude anything. It's just that whatever this is, is a point of view. And there are, oh, I don't know, infinity different ways that it can be viewed. Infinity times infinity to the power of infinity onward. You know. I'm only familiar with my own brain, and it seems like my own mind and my own perceptions are so, they seem so narrow. They seem, they have the feeling of like tunnel vision, and it's like there is unimaginable complexity and what's the word? You know what I mean? <laughs> How to try to actually define anything and even for a moment to try to define anything. And I started this talking about good and bad and what's beyond good and bad. And we live in a world with so much variety and so much diversity and points of view and what things are really charged with positive energy or negative energy and like belief systems. And I was thinking about life and death and the choices we make around that for both ourselves and for on behalf of other people. And we believe certain realities or worlds to exist here and there and everywhere in between. And we allow ourselves the liberty of transmuting energy from this place to that place. And there are ways that it can be done that are deemed appropriate. And there are other ways that are deemed inappropriate. And those ways are ambiguous. And I don't know if the way that I'm speaking is ambiguous and the broader and the more vague that I choose to speak in some ways, maybe the more it can apply to more people. Um, if I share the specific about my thought process and narrow it down, like that can also illustrate and illuminate things. And at the same time, like, I don't necessarily want to put you on any particular path of thinking or feeling or anything like that. Because if there's anything that I feel is important in this world, and there's probably a lot of things, but one of them is that you be able to learn from your own direct experience. And I don't know what your experience is. Um, I would be kidding myself if I did. And what a boring way of communicating that would be where we just would assume that we know what someone else's experience is like. I mean, again, there are ways that we deal with the complexity of the world. We <clears throat> narrow it down in a lot of ways to try to make it easier, more manageable, more palatable. And the religious belief system is something that plays a role in this. And like the stories that we've told about how we understand the world and how we understand power and how we understand like what this is and what that is and like where we are in that and where we're going and where, you know, where we're coming from. And like it, those big questions that are, I don't know if it's called epistemological questions <sighs> around those sort of underlying fabric or structure of the experience that is what this is. And, and this, in the bare bones sense of it, is coming back to whatever our perception is, because that's all that we directly, um, what we see and what we feel. And I think that 
when we're grounded, if they, you know, again, these words are very open to interpretation and everything that I'm saying is open to interpretation. Um, in this reality that my feet are on the floor and I feel this chair under my butt and all of those kinds of physical sensory information. Well, what's, it's different for everyone. And like, you, you might say, well, what's the rush? You know, aren't you happy with, did my camera just go blurry? I feel like it did. I don't know. So that's it. We'll see <laughs> when I play it back. We'll see. What's the rush of like, if we're here and this is where we find ourselves, then is that okay to just be here? Like, can we just be here? You know, I remember the first and only time that I visited Portland, Oregon and walked into Powell's bookstore. And the first and only time I ever got a shoe shine. <laughs> and, you know, grounded in the feet, in the boots, and um, walked up the stairs. And I saw that book by Ram Dass, which was Be Here Now. And I flipped through it and said, oh, yeah, wow, cool. Okay, Be Here Now. Yeah, great. I think I maybe had heard of it at some point. But that is as simple as it gets, Just, you know, is Be Here Now. Um, and what that means to you is going to be different. But at the same time, it's a different kind of approach to the, this life and what are we doing here, you know? It's different than believing or imagining or speculating as to what is going on after we die or what's going on in heaven or what's going on on some other level that is beyond where we are. Um, and it can be fun or interesting or a lot of other adjectives when we engage with those kinds of ideas too. So yeah, I'm just talking about my personal, what is this? What is this experience that when I say that, like, if you look at yourself and you say, well, what is this? You know, what, what is this? What is this? And there is some kind of a, whatever that comes up there, you know, like, it, or that's there and that you're noticing that it's there. Like, what? You know, it's like, oh, wow. Okay. Well, and it's a conversation that you're having with yourself. Like whatever comes up is what it is, I suppose, what it is. Um, and that's not even really, I shouldn't, I shouldn't have said that because I don't, <laughs> I don't think that that's actually true. It's not whatever, you know, it's not any particular direction and it's not necessarily coming or going and it's not necessarily up or down or left or right or any of those kinds of directions. Eh, I don't know. Does it, does it make sense? Does it not make sense? You know, that's definitely something that I have yet to arrive. And um, I'm just on the journey of life and just taking it one day at a time. And I, I don't like where this is going. So what else? I'll probably cut this out. I think that's pretty much all I've got for today. So I hope you're well and um, have a nice day. <laughs>